Hello and welcome back to NES Games Alphabetically. We are getting towards the end of this very long, crazy little adventure we've been on together, so thanks for sticking with me for this. We are now on letter U, so today we're going to do letters U and V, and maybe some W. Um, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, not, not a lot left of this alphabetical journey. Starting off with Ultima Exodus. So I, I tried to find some reviews of at least the first one. I feel like people review the other ones, but not so much this one. So, I don't know. We will see. Ultima Quest slash Avatar has great colors and sprites, some of the best on the NES in your opinion. Oh, that's cool. And hello, Mr. Shake, and hello, Chubby Catfish. Okay, so we're gonna start. So I found it interesting, so I noticed this, so I, oh, I like just tried it out, by tried it out I mean I turned it on yesterday, and I'm like, okay, there's already a save file called ass on here, so I'm guessing that was Mike, I don't know, but we're gonna start a new save file. Wait, how do we, whatever, create. It really wants us to be ass. Uh, wait, um, previous menu. Can we just continue? Nope. Okay, well, we're going to... Ready made. Okay, so now we're just picking... People? Okay, so I'm not... I, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I don't know what I'm doing. So... Sure, we'll be a thief. Let's be a ranger, a wizard, we'll have a fighter. Character name, who should this guy be? How about, hmm, Andy. Andy with two Y's, because I'm too lazy to fix it. What does BS stand for? Backspace or does it stand for bullshit? I don't know. We're gonna end. This guy, this is the ranger. Let's call him Rick, like Ranger Rick. Remember Ranger Rick? Name them after desserts? Well, it's too late now. This guy can be- this wizard can be named after a dessert. What's a wizardry dessert? Wizardry on NES is a hundred times more confusing than Ultima. No one in my hardcore retro RPG circle has completed it. Interesting. Strudel? Alright, we'll name him Strudel. Toaster Strudel. I tried Toaster Strudel once and I was not a fan. Oh, well we're- okay, how about- uh... Strudel. <laughs> Alright. So his name is Strool, and then this guy's the fighter, so he can be named... Skittle? Venus? Max? I like Max because that's easy to enter. There we go, we did it. Okay, we are now in the game. Okay, so, oh, those are coordinates we're going, so we're going south. Wait, can we go, look at all of them. Can we go in here? Oh, what's going on here? Look at them go in a line. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's talk to you. Talk. There are four shops in this town. Cool, let's go shopping. Let's, well, let's talk to this guy. Go to the grocery store if you are hungry. Okay. Mall simulator? I wish this was a mall simulator. Wait, what happened? Are we fighting? Everyone's on top of each other and blinking like crazy. Okay, um... Okay, we're fighting. 
We're just trying to go to the grocery store. We don't want any trouble. Okay, so I see everyone's names. I don't know what any of this means. Fight. Direction. Oh, he did something. No one's there. Oh, I see. Let's do magic. Missile. Yeah, we got him. We killed him. We're gonna, uh, oh, he has ma magic. Oh, we ca I can't, ca okay. You can't cast spells. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Let's fight again. I don't know. More magic. That missile was pretty good. Can we do an angle? No, you can't do an angle? Okay. Can we like move? Oh, you can move! I didn't know you could move! Oh, I, I hit myself. Okay. Oh my god, they're, they're just sending down on us. Okay. So every time I move, they move. Is that what's happening? There's someone right there! Oh, but I thought I was that guy! I'm confused. We're gonna die. I don't know who I am right now. Oh, so you can only move one- one place. See, I, now I'm confused as to who I am. Andy took damage! Oh no! Okay, I, who are we now? I would assume we're the blinky guy. Now we're that guy. Now we're the wizard? Okay. Magic. Light. Failed! No! Now we're the fighter. Oh, I, I hit I, I hit Rick in the back. Damn it. Well, what's gonna happen here? I keep saying miss, but they're right in front of us. How could we miss? No, I- well, fuck. Strool took damage, not Strool! Uh... Yeah, we got him. Aaron's into this? Well, I want to try to finish this fight, but it's gonna take like 30 minutes. Killed him. Good morning, watch your letter T video in YouTube yesterday. Loved it. Well, thank you, Night Shift. Yeah, the letter T was fun. It started out with a lot of good games and then it got kind of bad, but it was good times. This music track is a banger. Thank you, kid. I just want this to be over. Okay, we're, we're doing stuff. Yeah. I can't cast any more spells? Oh, who was it then? Or what? I don't know. So, okay, I have a question. So, we got more Ultima to go through, so this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna move on, because I don't know what I'm doing. And now we have to see Ultima Quest for the Avatar. <sighs> so, we're gonna have to make a party again, and let's see what this one looks like. We'll see if there's any 
graphical improvements. I don't know. Lovely sprites here. Okay, so this is the one I guess with the good sprites. Game one. Please set the speed. This is like the speed for everything goes, right? I'm gonna choose nine. Input name. I'll say Aaron. In all caps. And an exclamation point. We have been waiting for you a long time. I can see into the future. I shall foretell your destiny. Listen carefully. Entrusted to deliver an uncounted purse of gold, thou dost meet a poor beggar. Dost thou deliver the gold, knowing the trust in thee was well placed, or show compassion, giving the beggar a coin, knowing it shan't be missed? Compassion. Thou hast slain a mighty, mighty dragon in defense of thy life. A poor warrior claims the offered reward. Dost thou justly step forward to claim the bounty, or humbly go about thy life, secure in thy esteem? I'm kind of lost. Um, justice. A burly knight accounts thee and demands thy food. Dost thou valiantly refuse the uh, attack the knight, or sacrifice thy food unto the hungry knight? We'll be pussies and sacrifice it. In thy youth thou didst pledge to marry thy sweetheart. Now thou art on a sacred quest in distant lands, and thy lover hath asked thee to keep thy vow. Dost thou understand this game? No. How has my asthma been? <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It, it's fine. A few days ago it wasn't good. Has, how, how has thou asthma been? <laughs> this is Ultima something with an A. Honor. Which way do you choose? Love others or obey the law? Love others. And which of the two do you choose? Give of yourself or keep your vows? We'll keep our vows to our beloved. At last, you must choose which you think more valuable. Compassion or honor? Compassion. I like being nice to people. Your path is chosen. Now our lord is waiting for you. I am Lord British, King of Britannia. I welcome thee, Aaron, unto my fair kingdom. The ages of darkness are no more, yet still doth evil swell in the hearts of the people. I have long sought an adventurer who would master the eight virtues of avatarhood and guide our people into a new age of enlightenment. Aaron, I know in my heart that thou shalt become this avatar. Go forth now and conquer the frontiers of the self. This is a lot. Good morning, Lord Abiding. That's funny, Shishi. Go to Wawa and ask to sacrifice thy food in the night. <laughs> Thank you, Laura Biting, for subscribing for nine months. Thank you so much. This feels like bootleg Dragon Warrior since Chubby Catfish. I don't know, because I don't know much about Dragon Warrior, so I don't know. Alright. Hey, okay, we're doing something. We're walking around. The sprites are a lot better in this than the last one, I will say. Is this where we came from? Can we talk to you? I am Chuckles the Bumble. <laughs> Is this a clown? Is this an old-timey clown? He who laughs last laughs the loudest. Ho ho ho. Can I look yet? Is it over? What the fuck are you talking about, sir? Good 
Good morning, Scrooge McDuck. You will go forth and make coffee. Do it, good sir. Merry Christmas to you too, Phoenix full of light. Speak often with the seer Hawkwind, for he is wisest of all. Let's talk to the pink haired girly down here. Hail, seeker of avatarhood! Evil trembles at thy coming. Yeah, totally. Alright, let's talk to this person. No one there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought, like, he was saying no one's here. Like, no one's here. Each town has a moon gate nearby. At first, thou hast best not stray far from civilization. Would I buy a Squishmallow named Chuckles? I mean, maybe if he's cute. If it was a clown Squishmallow, probably not. Can I, I can't go out there? Alright, uh, let's go out of here. if we can find something to do. What's that? Let's touch it. Ooh, it teleported us somewhere. Moon oh, is that a moon gate? Fight! Auto, sure. What'll Aaron do? Attack. Damage 5. Damage 11. Attack some more. I attack all these bitches. Hello, Junior Dax. I'm good. How are you? And hello, Crystal Lee. Let's move. That way. Oh, you just follow me? That's annoying. Do I have anything to use? No tools. I have nothing. So we're just slapping each other. goes on and on. What's auto do? Oh, just auto. Giving each other the slap. Attack! You beat my enemy! Hell yeah, I did. Auto. Auto is just attack, basically. Yay! Did we get anything from here? Search? Aaron looks around. A treasure chest. Aaron opened the chest. Finds 99 GP. Yay! Music's drowning me out of it. Turn my mic up a bit, and I will turn this down a bit. Is that better? Thanks for letting me know. I will see if this is better. Oh, we're in another fight. I'm gonna. We're gonna go to the next one because we still have another Ultima game. Warriors of Destiny! Ooh. Good old Pony Canyon. <laughs> Never heard of Pony Canyon. A Lord British game. See, now this sounds really low, but I'll let the chat let me know um, how it sounds. Warriors of Destiny, journey on. Thou art a simple fisherman and a skillful swordsman. Thy lord recruits a ceremonial guard in peacetime. Dost thou 
val valorously join or humbly decline the offer? I will join. So the music's like, you can hear it okay? Because it sounds really quiet to me now. I like it quiet because I'm a weirdo, but usually the chat's like, make the music louder. Okay, thank you guys. All right. Thy lord desires a piece of land and orders its owner removed. Dost thou justly refuse him? Or honor thine oath and evict the landowner? Uh, let's just say no. Thee and thy friend battled a mighty dragon. Thy friend claims the reward. But the kill was thine. Dost thou honestly claim the gold or sacrifice it to thy friend? We'll, we'll go with A this time. It's exhausting talking like this, by the way. This is how I know this like genre really isn't for me because I just, I'm like... I mean, I recorded a script before going live, so maybe that's why, but I'm just like... I feel like this is wearing out, just wearing me out. <laughs> Thou hast been taught to preserve all life. A man fatally bitten by a serpent begs for death. Dost thou kill him in compassion or heed thy spiritual beliefs? Will mercy kill him? That's impressive, Shishi. You visit a distant lord who insults thy country. Dost thou valiantly bear the slurs or justly demand an apology? I'm gonna demand an apology. Thee and thy friends have been ordered to retreat. Dost thou stop in compassion to aid a wounded comrade or sacrifice thyself that others might flee? We will stop in compassion. Mercenary Cobra says, actually, both answers are okay. One choice is for one of the eight virtues, the other choice is for the other. It allows you to choose which of the eight virtues is more prominent to your starting character. I see. Thou hast found the slayer of thy friends. The villain is the sole support for a child. Dost thou spare him in compassion or justly slay him? That's tough. What should we do? Let's spare him. Let's not kill everybody. Yay! Britannia! Yes, it must be Britannia. My friend, shouts a familiar voice. Racing towards you is Shamino. Hurry! We must escape before the Shadow Lords notice the summoning. Not the Shadow Lords! Thank you so much, Sleepy Garrett, for subscribing for 20 months. Aaron's too nice. I know, it's a problem. I need to be meaner. Thank you, Nidfan, for subscribing for 63 whole months. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long, and I hope you've been doing okay. Aaron, Game Boy alphabetically would also be fun. There are a lot of Game Boy games, and there's a lot of trash on Game Boy. But yes, that could be fun. Maybe eventually. Maybe eventually we'll do that. I'd rather do that than, like, N64 or something. Because, like, and so, like when you get to the more modern stuff, uh, it's, like, harder just to jump into games, but... Yeah. So much shovelware? Yeah. It would be quite the journey. Uh. <laughs> Drop Zone on Game Boy is dope? I'm not familiar with that one. Alright, before you can move, the darkness begins to swirl and change. Three shapes begin to materialize. This is like what happens if I take too much Benadryl. Shadow Lords hisses Shamino as he draws his sword and moves between you and the dark shapes. Then, with a flick of its hand, a Shadow Lord casts a glowing bolt of energy upon impact. Shamino si simps? Oh, slumps to the ground. He does not simp to the ground, he slumps to the ground. The Shadow Lord then turns their attention to you. Upon recognizing you as the Avatar, the Shadow Lords fade back into the night. After carrying your wounded companion to Iolo's hut, 
The events of late are told unto you. Lord British led a band of brave fighters into the dark underworld, but his party was quickly overwhelmed by the creatures within. Lord British has not been seen again! Since that day, Blackthorn, a trusted subject to Lord British, has seen to the ruling of Britannia. Then, the Shadow Lords began to appear and corrupt him in some manner. Blackthorn is now merciless and cruel, quite unlike the Blackthorn of old. Since the appearance of the Shadow Lords, the reign of Blackthorn has been one of oppression and tyranny. The meanings of the virtues have been twisted. This is a lot of reading. I feel like I'm teaching like an elementary school class or something and we're having like story time. Rule of the Britannia must be restored to Lord British if he still lives. <gasps> okay, now we're doing stuff. The king is the actual guy who made all the games. Like, did they really like use his likeness to make the king? Uh, oh, this is interesting, okay. So I guess we're just walking around. <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh. And that music. <laughs> Poisons! Oh, we walked into poison? Avatar barely wounded. There's like nothing. Oh shit, we walked to a dead end. Okay, let's go up here. Everyone's poisoned, we're all dead. Uh oh my god, this is so annoying. This is an 80s PC vibe. Is this something? Do we die? So I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> Go in there! <sighs> I was trying to go in that door. You don't like this one either? Just one fight? I don't know how to get to a fight because I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, can we go in here? Wait, er, no, this is where we came out. Damn it. I don't think we're gonna find anybody to fight. Yeah, I, I gotta move on. Okay, so my thoughts on Ultima. I don't know anything about it. It's it's fine. Um, it's not for me, so I, I don't really have much to say about it. Someone commented saying I wasn't giving enough of my thoughts on some of them, and I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to give my thoughts more on stuff, but I don't really- some of these I just don't have much to say, you know? Thank you so much, Dragon Warrior Brian, for subscribing at tier 2 for 16 months. Thank you so much. Good morning, Aaron. I used to play Ultima Exodus a lot on NES. My favorite part was making characters, but then I could never figure out where to go, so that's what to do in the actual game. So one of the only- reviews that I found on Ultima Exodus, that's what they said. They said that they had a lot of trouble figuring out where to go. And I can I can see that. Sorry, I gotta blow my nose. Would I rather play football? Um, no, I would rather play Ultima. <laughs> the NES port 
of Ultima 4 is very different from the other versions. The graphics had been completely redone, as was the music and the dialogue options were greatly reduced. Among other gameplay changes, the player cannot have all seven recruitable characters in the player's party at the same time as one could in other versions. Okay. Hmm. And happy Sunday to you too, Autobot. Alright, so next up we have Ultimate Air Combat. Oh god, is this like, uh, Top Gun? And let me know if the music still sounds okay, because it sounds really low on my end. Alright, we're gonna start. The Tub Buster. London Brigade. Campfire. Let's powder keg. I don't know. Let's campfire, sure. Don Guano is training new troops at this jungle site. Blast all six shacks to put it out of business. Tub buster on Ernie. I know that's what I was thinking. Okay, so we can choose it. Let's choose Tomcat. Ugh, all of a sudden my allergies got bad. Scramble, scramble. Hello, room tower. All right, let's see. Can we shoot anything? So I can't go side to side. I can only go up and down. Okay, something's coming in from behind us. Oh, there's something in front of us too. I don't know how to get over there! This is annoying. Like, I can't go that way. I have to wait for it to, like... I'm trying to hit it! I can't move side to side! Oh my god. I cannot with these games. So we're getting hit like crazy. <laughs> Our like little thing broke. Oh my god. Mr. President, we've lost a plane. Fortunately, the pilot bailed out in time. Well, I tried. There I go. Floating down safely onto the ground. So our hero Aaron suddenly finds a fighter jet and is taking down other planes. Bravo writers. Yes, Mr. Fister. <laughs> Alright, so lose another plane and you're toast. Eh, eh, we're moving on. Next up is Ultimate Basketball. Yay! Ugh. Oh, we can just watch it. Let's just watch it. Because I don't know how to play this shit. Alright. New York Powers versus the Los Angeles Eagles, sir. Sure. Alright, let's watch these guys play some ball. <laughs> there they go. Who's gonna win? Oh, look at that. Aaron loves basketball. Ugh. I'm just not good with sports games. Like, I just don't- I don't know what I'm doing. I can play, like, tennis games. But... Alright, so you get the idea. This is what, uh, Ultimate Basketball looks like, or whatever it's called. Ultimate Basketball, yes. Next is, oh god, this game's so bad. Uncanny X-Men. Get ready. Yes, I did play basketball a little bit in middle school because I was tall for my age. So they thought I would just be good at it and I wasn't. <laughs> All right. From LJN Toys.
future city street fight. Let's do that. Yeah, let's be Wolverine and Cyclops, sure. So this one's weird because you're like, you have two people, but you're controlling- so I'm controlling Wolverine. And then Cyclops is just running around doing whatever. And I'm not totally sure what I can hit, what I can't hit yet. So I think Cyclops is dead. I'm dead too. Alright, so now we're Nightcrawler, sure. And Iceman. I am good right now, Tavern. Thanks for asking. So I, I, I assume I pick up those things. So you can punch some like tanks and some things you can't punch. That's what I'm taking away from this. Like what even is that item I'm collecting? S. For suck. Alright, so, okay, see, now I'm only one person, and that makes more sense. Okay, so now we're Iceman. Oh, look, he actually has a projectile. Wow. Let's get out of here. I can't move. Wow, the controls are so bad. This is really bad. Like, this is really bad. We are on Uncanny X-Men. No screen indicators of the items or health or anything. Just awful. Exactly. Isn't that awful? What's my favorite December drink? I don't know if I have one. I like drinking coffee and um, hot chocolate. Um, at Starbucks, there's one. What is it called? I've been wanting to try it, but I just haven't been to a Starbucks. Um, I hope they have it this year because I think I got it last year and I really liked it the chestnut praline latte I think I saw that they had it and I'm like I want to try that peppermint hot chocolate I'm not a fan of peppermint flavored things like peppermint chocolate I don't like and I feel like there's so much peppermint chocolate stuff around this time of year and I'm like I wish I could partake but I'm just not down I'm not down <laughs> thank you Yude Costa for subscribing for 32 whole months thanks so much Alright, so now we're Colossus and Storm! Alright, let's see. Can we make it any further? See, it's so like... Okay, which one? Okay. So, okay, you control the one in the back. And these little tanks look like little castles, don't they? They look like little castles! And then so my other guy died, because it's not like I can really, uh... You can't really control the other the other guy you have. Okay, we made it a little further. Okay, is this okay? And then you go there. Yeah, that's right. And then it takes you to another screen. And now we're in another room. Ah! I feel so bad, because you know a lot of kids probably got this game because it's like, oh, X-Man, and it like, just sucks. That's a bummer. Oh my god, let me get out of here! Just kidding, game over! Darn, I guess we need to move on! That was awful! <laughs> this doesn't look any good. No, it's very bad. It is probably one of the worst NES games. up there with platoon hey retro k i'm good how are you it feels like a read the manual to understand its weirdness type kind of but it's just annoying how it's like so it's it should be cool it's like oh you have two characters at a time that's cool but so like you know how in uh i think it's called new ghostbusters on nes where like you have two characters and the other one follows you around see that one works good because, because, um, when you control the one, the other one fo follows directly behind you. This is, like, the other character is, like, off totally far away, and it's just, it makes no sense. <laughs> I 
Which NES game do you hate more than any other NES game? Um, I really don't like that Uncanny X-Man game. Um, <sighs> see, I want to say, like, Platoon, but, yeah, I don't like Skate or Die, but I hate Platoon more. Um, I'd rather play Jekyll and Hyde than Platoon. Um, I'm trying to think. There's some, like, like, North and South and shit like that. I hate it. I hate it. Um, W has a little, has a decent amount of games. Sorry, there's, like, my throat's scratchy. Action 52 is, is at least entertainingly bad. What do I think is the best looking NES game? Uh, that's a hard question. Um, cause there's a lot I think that are good looking like, um, I think, yeah, Tiny Toons looks really good. Kirby's Adventure, yeah, it looks good. I think Batman looks really good. I think, um, Dracula's Curse looks really good. Like, it's just graphics that I feel like stand the test of time, some of them. Like, Mario. Um, so, Battle, yeah, Battle of Olympus looks good. Most played NES game? Me? Um, see, I'd say, like, the Mario games, but I played those mostly in the, um, Mario All-Stars version on Super Nintendo, so I guess I can't say Mario. Um, probably Dracula's Curse. Or, like, Batman. <laughs> I always go back to those two. Yes, Urban Champion is coming up. Yes. Because, see, I played Mario 3 and Mario 1 a lot, but on All Stars on Super Nintendo. And I played Tetris a lot on the Game Boy. Dragon's Lair looks nice, but total ass on NES. Yeah. A lot of people say Mario 3 is their most played. So next up is Uncharted Waters. Uh-oh, from Koei, Koei. So this is probably a strategy game that I'm going to skip because it's going to be a lot to input. And I don't know what I'm doing. This is probably going to be boring as hell. Probably. Ah, that's our name. Is this okay? Yes. Sure. Enter the name of flagship. Mars. Wait. No! I just wanted to see what the sprites looked like, you know? I am A. My ancestors were nobles, but now... I, Port now Portugal, my home, has prospered as new sea routes. Ah, Christiana, our fair princess. Spaniard who will... S I think I'm accidentally skipping things because this doesn't make any sense. This is my partner and friend, the old sailor. Too, Captain. Okay, I just wanted to see what this actually looks like. Let's go in here. 
Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Walker, Texas, Dingler for gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much. He gifted a sub to Respergoo, Photon Earth, Kaiser, Bugs88, and White Wine Sipper. So if you got a gift sub from Walker, Texas, Dingler, please tell him thank you. Thanks so much. And hello, Blue Ranger. How's the raging going? No rage yet. Just some bewilderment and some boredom. Well, at first I was accidentally skipping the dialogue, but then I was like, all right, and we just started tapping it, because I just wanted to see what the game actually looked like. This was back before Koei became the D Dynasty Warriors factory. I actually missed the way they would branch out and make unique games like this. Like, this is fine, it's just, it's not really for me. Welcome! What shall we do, Captain? Let's gossip. Let's stay a while and find out what's- wait, you'll have to order something. This goes really fast, the, um, dialogue. We don't keep ties with any port. What shall we do, Captain? Find mates. Uh, let's approach Fernando. How'd you like to join my crew? You don't know who you're dealing with. What shall we do, Captain? Gamble. Anyone care for a game of blackjack? Alright. So that's fine. And next is Uninvited. This is a point and click game. I haven't really played this one. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna try it out. I know of it. I know people like this. It's one of the games that's talked about a lot. Look out. The last thing you remember before blacking out was a shadowy figure appearing in the road in front of you. You heard your sister cry out as you swerved the car into this tree. You realize that you are alone. Your sister must have gone for help. The smell of gasoline fills the air. You must have punctured the tank. You pry yourself free of the steering wheel, intent on finding your sister. Alright, let's examine this steering wheel. This steering wheel has guided you in and out of traffic for a year now. So I wonder, is the car older and did we just replace the steering wheel? I don't know. It has a new a leather cover on it. Okay, let's examine over here. The speedometer has nothing to monitor. This, is, this car isn't going anywhere. The front is smashed in and gas is leaking. Can we leave then? You can't drop what you didn't take. Okay, I think I'm confused. Can we- let's open the door? The car door opens with some effort. Okay, so now can we leave? Maybe I'm doing this wrong. You can't drop what you didn't take. Well, I don't- I don't know! Oh, use move. Oh. You can Okay, stop saying that. Oh, I gotta press that. And then... I don't know where to move. The music is too loud? What's ha- Oh my god! I'm so sorry, it was direct capturing. Okay, is that better? I was wondering why. I was like, it sounds so quiet to me. <laughs> I've been like capturing game footage the past few days and stuff, so like my settings were all screwed up. <sighs> now you can barely hear it. Okay. Fuck, I'm sorry. I can't believe I didn't catch that. Okay, does that sound better? Or should I turn it up? Okay. An explosion erupts behind you as your car bursts into flames. 
At least it will save you the cost of a tow. You find yourself standing in front of an old mansion. It gives you the creeps. Do I have any Christmas episodes coming up? I don't have anything exactly Christmas related. It just didn't happen this year, but I do have a new video coming out today that I'll probably put out this afternoon. But yeah, I want to put it out today. All right, so let's uh, examine. Let's, let's exa oh, wait, no, no, let's open this mailbox. I bet there's something in the mailbox. Open the mailbox. Envelope. So then I go over here, right? I go, can I open the envelope, I guess? Open the envelope. And then I have to examine it, right? See, I'm learning how these games work. This note reads, Dear Master, please forgive me. My health prevents me from aiding you in your battle against the evil Draken. You teach your students well. They become too powerful for their own good. Enclosed is an amulet that should look familiar. Wear this charm and think of me. The undead will surely fear it. Still, still with evil, my friend. Set it free for the sake of the family. Fare thee well. Let's take the pendant. All right. Ooh! You pick up the pendant and it begins to sparkle. Then the door of the mansion opens and dares you to enter. Could your sister be in there? Sure, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go to move. In there. As you enter, the door slams shut behind you. This foyer is a large and luxurious room. I have not played Sweet Home, no. Still, it seems strangely oppressive. Uh, let's examine some stuff. Let's examine this couch. The couch looks so soft. You feel something hard sewn into it. Uh-oh. Can we, like, rip it open? What's up with this painting? It's a painting of a great snake. Cool. How about this demonic looking rug? This small rug barely covers the floor. Well, I guess that's not a pentagram, so. Um, okay, let's open a door. I don't know. Let's open this door. Open the door. Now let's move through the house. This hallway is much too quiet. You feel like something is waiting to get you. Uh-oh. Ah! A strange woman appears. She is dressed like Scarlett O'Hara. I'll speak to her. You speak to her and she says, Thank you for coming back for me, my love. You will be mine forever. All right, well, are you gonna get out of my way? Let's open more doors. Let's open this one. Ah! You have gotten the attention of the mysterious lady. That's terrifying. She turns to face you. Her face is devoid of any flesh. You are frozen with horror as she begins ripping you apart. She laughs hysterically as your body slumps to the ground. Ah! Your quest is over! <laughs> this is great. I like uninvited. I'm gonna write down uninvited. It's going in the book. Hello, Strider. This pen is too skinny. Aaron, Aaron, Miss 
serious lady cosplay. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Shadowgate. Yeah, it seems like it. You must stream this entire trilogy. <laughs> oh, it's fun. I liked that a lot. The only way to get past her is to go upstairs without opening any doors, find the no, find no ghosts, and then use it on her. Kind of cryptic. Yeah, I, I liked Shadowgate and Deja Vu too. I didn't play a lot of games like this ever, so it's kind of like uncharted territory for me, but it's fun. It's different, you know? All right, next is The Untouchables. Is this that really crappy one where you're, like, shooting? Yeah. Ugh, I don't like this game. Is no ghost like shark spray? It's, it seems like it. From Ocean. Shoot the gangsters, but watch the time. I'm so bad at games like this where you have to aim really fast. Look how slow I am. We shot one. Can't do it. Come back. Oh, we ran out of time. All right, time runs out for Elliot Ness. We'll try it, we'll try it again. I have not seen this movie, no. Hello, the man with the golden hands. Let's try this again. Will I be any better? I, I don't know. Well, we got one. Well, we died. I just, I don't know. I can't do it fast enough. So there's that. I'm sure if it was an arcade game, it'd probably be better because you'd have an actual gun or if you had a light gun, probably better. So this is Urban Champion. So this is a Nintendo game, like made by Nintendo. That's pretty awful. So let's, let's do it. Let's go for it. So I mean, unless I'm missing something, all you can do is punch. That's literally all you can do. You can't kick from what I've learned. I'm trying different button combinations. We're just punching each other in the face. Watch out for falling plants. Oh, we got hit in the head. First NES fighting game, I believe, yeah. I mean, they had to start somewhere, right? Like, I can't get close enough. There we go. Maybe I was pressing the wrong button. Oh, we knocked each other out. This is so bad. Snack bar. Oh.
Alright, so... People who have played this... So I've, I've played this before, but I've never gotten anything more of it than just all you can do is punch and it just goes on and on and on. Now is there something I'm missing because I can never play longer than five minutes with it without losing my mind? Is there more to this game that I'm missing? I would like to know. What if there is something great? CVS 1986. <laughs> Hello, Whirly Derby. Celestria says, I came here instead because you have a point system. Now I'm guessing you're mad that Mike took away his point system. I didn't know you could take that away until recently. Um, and I hate to break it to you, but I'm probably going to take away my point system too because I do nothing with it. I don't know what to do with it. I'm sorry. I know um, some people said like, oh, you know, you could use it so people could redeem it to like show items from your collection or something. And maybe I'll do that at some point. But right now I'll take it away because the only time people bring it up, they go, what can I do with 284 thingamabobs? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm probably just going to take it away because I don't know what to do with it. I didn't create it. That's the thing Twitch created. You know? No, I think you've seen everything. There's a lady who drops flower pots though. Oh, so we have, we have only seen the guy that drops flower pots. Okay. Oh, you use points for emotes when not subscribed. I didn't even know you could use points for emotes. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for now. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. That's all I said. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Thank you so much, Henry Bear. Good boy for subscribing for 32 months. Thank you. Aaron doesn't like redeeming for sound effects and video clips. Some of the ones you sent me, Shishi, were pretty, pretty funny, and I'd be interested in doing it. Um, I just gotta figure that out. I don't know. There's also a thing that lets you share how many streams in a row you watched. See, I'm looking at Chatty. I'm not looking at... Um, like the Twitch, like Twitch chat. I use a program called Chatty. And so, um, I haven't seen it, but yeah, I guess there's a thing now where it says like, so-and-so's on a two stream streak. Like they've watched you three times in a row or whatever. Um, but I was noticing it in Mike streams yesterday and it looks like a subscription notification. So it's kind of confusing. Um, so I think that's kind of weird. I don't know. It looks like a sub streak and it's pretty bad. Yeah, I didn't like that. I haven't seen it come up for me yet, but. The stream streak thing is hella annoying. So even you guys think it's annoying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that. Need it for emotes at least. I don't know. I, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Okay, so let's move on from Urban Champion. So that's probably one of the worst games Nintendo has developed, in my opinion. And now for the unlicensed stuff, there's Ultimate League Soccer. Oh boy. They don't really have faces. They have eyes and a nose, but no mouth. Let's be green. This is so loud. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we all know what soccer looks like there. <laughs> Ultimate Stuntman, uh-oh. Do you prefer bagels or English muffins? I like both. It depends on my mood. Are they sure they wanted to use RPG music for a soccer game? <laughs> This game has that bizarre cover art, does it? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Oh, it's Comerica and Codemasters. You know you're in for a treat.
Oh yeah, that cover is pretty out of control. There's like an octopus. There's a shirtless dude with a bazooka. There's a car. Kidnapped. Look at that phone. I like the phone. Ultimate stuntman. Dr. Evil has kidnapped Jenny Aykroyd. You must chase after him and rescue the young scientists. Android 1. Techno Beast. Not the Techno Beast. You want a phone like that filled with candy? Me too. Ah! Ah! Yeah, we're jumping over stuff. Going through water. Oh shit. We are, I don't think we're the ultimate stuntman. I think we're doing quite horribly. This is a really funny, generic action movie plot, though. And that cover is just so funny. Uh-oh, not the boss truck. Oh, we died. We went poof. Yes, Dan Aykroyd's daughter. Reminds you of Spy Hunter. Yeah, it's a little Spy Hunter-y. See, I get hit too much. this car again. No! This is killing my hands, but it's it's better than I thought it would be. <sighs> Whatever. So that's Ultimate Stuntman. Better than some of the other stuff we've been playing today. And now it's time for Urban Strike. You know the Tiny Toon cartoon workshop as a kid and played it a lot, weirdly? I don't get that, Eric. What? Should probably do a swoon speedrun at the end of this as a celebration. Well, we'll see. And hello, um, Haman. This is Cobra Command? Is it like Cobra Command with another name? Oh. So I'm not supposed to have Famicom versions in this folder, but maybe this is like... I don't know. So this is Cobra Command, but also Urban Strike? I don't know. This could be a mistake. Damn it, it's like hard to move. There we go. Oh, you gotta like tap on the D-pad. You can't just hold forward.
Alright, I'm not doing too well at this. Yeah, I like Choplifter better. <laughs> this is like annoying to control, it's weird. Alright, eh. Anyway, alright. Now on to letter V. Vegas Dream. So I don't know how to play card games. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, so we're just gonna take a quick peek and then move on. Okay? Okay. This is embarrassing. Yeah, I don't even know how to play blackjack. I learned once and I don't remember it. <laughs> I like this background, it's cute. Miss Money Signs. Roulette, you just like, this, this I think I can do. Oh, that's how you do that. I don't know how to input the thing. Hello, Midnight Snowman. Do I have a favorite Vegas hotel or casino? I haven't been to Vegas in a really long time. When I was younger, I really liked the Excalibur because it was so cheesy, like the way it was themed. Um, I don't know. I haven't been in so long. Alright, I'm gonna move on because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Next is Vice Project Doom. Vegas kind of sucks now. Yeah, I haven't been in probably almost 10 years. How was Ultima? It was an experience. All right, next is Vice Project Doom. So this is a game I did, I didn't beat it, but like I was playing it for a while on stream, like maybe a year or two ago. Um, I remember liking it. It starts out as like a car racing game, and then it um, turns into like a action platformer type of deal. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool game. It's just kind of weird how the beginning starts where you think it's like Spy Hunter. so fast. Shit, can I back up? Okay. It's been a while since I've played this. We get it, we blew it up. <laughs> oh well, should have surrendered. What? Went away too fast. There's no record of this guy, but his hands?
Oh shit! Yes, Ultimate Stuntman was also Spy Hunter. Shit! Oh my god! Okay, I need to get better at that part. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's like it goes too fast. You gotta be like... Hello, Yumi. All these break away so fast. There we go. Ah, the crawly guys are so creepy. No, we fell. Yeah, I'm ready. Don't make me start back there. Okay, good. guy. I remember him. And we got some meat. Ah. I'm playing so sloppy, but that's okay. Just messing around. Alright. Oh yeah, this guy. There we go. We did it. We did it. The pumpkin guy, Aaron's arch nemesis. <laughs> Top 10 NES construction buildings and games. I mean, that's something I would do. It's me, Sophia. Christy asked me to check out that stuff and what I've been able to find. All leads to Kim Ron. Yeah, it, it, it reminds me a lot of any, 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 ugh, stutter. NES Batman, which is probably why I like it. Shatterhand too. It has all the vibes of the good NES games like this, you know? No, oh, we died. Where is it gonna start us on the screen? That'd be cool. Yeah. Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, it's a little Ninja Ga Gaiden-y. A little bit. Thank you. 
Was sloppy. Anyway, so that's Vice Project Zoom. It's fun. I recommend it. And next is Videomation. No idea what this is. Oh, thank you, Dragon Warrior Brian. Merry Christmas to you too. And hello, MJ Thriller. I'm good. How are you? So you're playing in the morning instead of very early in the morning. Yes, I'm switching things up a bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, we just draw. Wait, can I do like a background? Let's do that background. How do I make it happen? This is great. We're gonna make a picture. Some bricks over here. And then we're going to uh, draw us. Oh wait, what's this? Let's put a goose in there. Oh, we can make him do stuff. We made a goose fly! Cozy games like this are becoming my favorite to play. <laughs> it's like Color a Dinosaur without the Dino- It's better- I'd say it's better than Color a Dinosaur. Alright. Well, that was delightful. Let's see, I'm gonna try and draw a face. All right, and then we're gonna do some eyes. I'm just gonna do lines for eyes. See, he's happy. And he's gotta have a body. This is very hard to draw with. Anyway, this is his very long, noodly arm. And he's waving. How about he's just flipping you off there? <laughs> and his other hand will be down here. It's great. Now, let's add some more stuff. Was that a plane? <laughs> My God. Oh, what kind of okay? Let's put some stamps. Let's put the sun right here. The sun shining. And what other stamps are there? Let's let's have him spinning a ball on his finger. There. See, isn't this great? This is art. And I want I want to put the lizard on there. <gasps> There's flowers and hearts. This is great. Aaron's favorite game of today. Yes, definitely. Now let's put the dog over here. He's hanging out back here. Um, what other stamps are there? Dinosaurs, horses. Okay, that's it. Wasn't there a lizard? Yeah, I want the lizard. He's up here. Yeah. Alright. 
What's music? I don't know. All right. Anyway, so this is interesting. Why are all the stamps green? I'm sure you can change the color, but I have no idea how. Um, sorry, I spaced out for a minute playing this. This took me to a different, um, to a different world. Anyway, so is what? Videomation? Yes, videomation. And next up, we have a volleyball. Oh my god, Erin, I just streamed the Manhattan Project. This game is impossible. I've never gotten too far in the Manhattan Project, so I believe you. But I hope the stream was fun regardless. Due to how the NES stores color palettes, there's four colors per palette, and each palette is used for different titles. It's complicated. There's more to it than that. All right, volleyball. Good old volleyball. Oh my god, here they all come. That whistle is so loud. Yay, we did it. Ah. It sounds like a train whistle. Oh. It's so loud. Dead or alive. <laughs> Yay, we finally got a point. thrusting yeah they're they're into that oh that was good oh ah anyway so that's volleyball it's fun I like volleyball games on the NES it's just it's good times and then next up, we have even more volleyball. Super Spike V-Ball was the best volleyball game on NES. <sighs> I agree. <laughs> Do you, I think anyone else is playing this on Twitch? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, next up, some more volleyball. We got... Venice Beach Volleyball, and I don't remember if I said this out loud or not, but yeah, Super Spike B-Ball is the best one on NES, I think. American Video Entertainment, uh-oh. I like that color scheme, the like, orangey peach with the purple, I think that looks very nice. Ooh, red, I'm gonna be the redhead. It's me. And my purple haired friend. Whee! Oh, I failed. Oh my god, and the crab comes and takes your ball away. That is so cute. like so okay it switches between okay I see
it's like hard to line up where you're supposed to be. This is, this looks easier than it is. You have to be fast to move the other girl. You have to be really fast. Look, look how fast I have to be. Oh, we did it though. We did it. Yay, we got a point. Finally, the crab with the volleyball would make a cute emote. It would, but I don't think anybody would use it. Oh, let me do it again. Ah, oh, they just get a point. Or they do it. I, I was in the spot it told me to be. This game looks fun. It's not hor horrible. Like, pretty much all the volleyball games are, like, pretty decent. Never give up. Thank you, guy with bleached hair. Let's try it again. He's jacked. <laughs> ah, I couldn't move fast enough. probably the hardest to play out of all the volleyball games. I feel like it's the hardest to like get on the mark at the right time. Venice Beach Volleyball. When you put ROMs on your EverDrive, do you do them all one by one, or is there an easy way to download libraries all at once? Um, you can download libraries all at once, but then you get a lot of duplicates. So Mike actually went through and he like only kept the ROMs that are like the good ones. But um, usually, if you download them in bulk, from what I've, what I know, it's usually you get a lot of duplicates, and some ROMs aren't good. Thank you so much, John3275, for subscribing for 23 whole months. Thank you. Somewhere in the rocks, there's a collection of hundreds of volleyballs. Yes. And lastly, for letter V, we have Vindicators. I have no idea what this is going to be. Zone one, easy, no bonus. Sure, let's try zone one. Oh, we're a little tank. Are we shooting these red things? No. Okay, so we shoot those. And I guess that's F for fuel. This is really random. Oh, we got a key. And there's another key. All right, let's go in the door. Now we're on level two. Ooh, there's like electric fences. So I guess anything neon green you collect. Played this before, Chubby Catfish, and hello, Chaluminati. 
dead ends. Chill tunes. Yeah, the music's co the music could be worse. It's not horrible. Oh, uh, oh, so you're not supposed to run over those things. I want to increase the shot range. Alright. But you can buy bombs. Well, now we don't have anything. Oh, the fuel ran out. Oh, okay. So you, it, it doesn't matter if you roll over those red things then. get the fuel that's over here if I can go still playing this? I don't know. Yeah, it's literally tank controls. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we get the idea. So that is all of letter V, and now it's time for W. So there's a lot more of W than um, the other ones. Oh, what do we got for X? Alright, so we're on our way out. Anyway. So now it's time for wacky races. So I've been like trying to mess with a lot of these beforehand in my streams and stuff. But this one, we're just jumping into it. Um, so I haven't like really gone over these games or anything. So <laughs> we're just gonna jump into it and see how it goes. Hello, Retro Video Guy. Welcome to the stream. Wacky Races is a fun one. Yeah, isn't this where you're monthly and you're like, it's like a side scroll or anything? While chasing a homing pigeon, Dastardly's plane crashes. Muttley grumbles and hurries to rescue Dastardly. Yeah, I remember this not being terrible. Can you jump on things? Probably not, right? Wait, how do I... How do I select other... Maybe I don't have the other items yet? I was looking at the items down there and I was like, oh, is that the Honey Nut Cheerios bee? flower looked like the flower that they used to have at like KB, those like flowers with sunglasses that would like dance in the flower pots. Get bones and press select. Oh. I, I press select and now nothing's selected. The unreleased Genesis game was Eraser and some of the others. Where's Penelope Pit Stop? I don't know. So every time you get a bone, then you can... Okay. Oh, and now we just have bombs. Those are effective.
That was a giant bunny. Bark attack. Uh oh. Oh, now he has like a little helicopter. That's cute. creature. There's a Game Boy wa Wacky Races. I haven't seen- I haven't played the Game Boy one. Shit. Didn't mean to jump into him. This game uses gradius rules for power-ups. I guess it kind of does. That's kind of interesting when you put it that way. The creepy enemy is a video game tattoo someone should get. Oh shit! I forget he respawns. It's hard to make that jump. Shit! <sighs> ah! Bats! Now are we stuck? Shit, I should have used float. If I could reach that, which I can't. Oh shit, he can't- I didn't know that would respawn. Wait, I should have- shit, I shouldn't have used that. another bone over here. Okay. There's a hole somewhere. I don't see the hole. Is this the hole? To the left. Oh, here! Aha, thank you. And we are trapped. You hate when you can't find the hole? <laughs> yep, that's what he said. Uh oh, a boss. Ah, oh, we died. <laughs> I don't know, would Bark be better for this? Nope. I should have stayed with the bombs. That was very stupid. Very dumb. Well, it's working. It's just so slow. Ugh, 
allergies. There we go, now we got bombs back. In theory, this should be better, but I don't know if it is. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> we keep dying anyway. Thank you, Junior Dax. Oh. Shit. Well, we're not doing too hot. Why am I so dedicated to wacky race? Ah. Fuck it. Alright. So that was wacky races. Oh no, this is Brisby's favorite Wall Street kid. I do like the, um pixel art in this. I will say that. I'm Larry, a lawyer employed by your distant uncle, Mr. Benedict. I'm sorry to say he's passed away. Yeah, this game's about the start stock market. I don't know anything about it. I just want to show you guys the pixel art and then we'll move on. Use the profits to uphold the Benedict standard of living. Pamper your sweetheart and move into a decent one million dollar house. You'll have one month to purchase the house. I'll have a real estate agent call you. Also, Mr. Benedict's grandfather owned a castle in Europe years ago when he immigrated to the US and the castle had to be sold. Just before Mr. Benedict's death, he heard gossip that the castle would go up for sale. You must buy it back to maintain the family heritage. See, I like that picture. Where did, oh. Interest rates have dropped by 5%. Isn't this great? Rich asshole simulator. Market data. Blue chip and cyclical stocks surpass others. Hot stocks bulletin. Boing. Carnivore cruise lines. American depress and rattle toys. And Friedman's Fund. Fire. I can't do this. I just wanted to show. See, I like the phone. Look at Ralph. I'm a real estate agent. Larry told me that you were interested in purchasing a house for around a million dollars. I'm looking at some very nice homes for sale at the moment. I'll get the details and call you at the beginning of next week. See this image. I like that image. It's very, like, aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. Because I'm weird. And for some reason, that image has stuck with me. So next up is Wario's Woods. Oh my god. So for a video, I played this. Is it the video that's coming out today? I, like, recorded a bunch of videos. So I'm kind of caught up right now. Knock on wood. Um, and... So this was a while ago and I got pretty decent at Wario's Woods and I totally don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of it. So let's see how I'll do now. So that was like a month ago. forget how to move both at the same time. Shit. Nope. There we go. Yay! And Birdo's here. I 
really like how the coins look in this game. They look very, um, uh, like, attractive to the eye. <laughs> like, yeah, I want to get those. How do I pick up both at once? I forget. Yeah, you can run up the sacks, but I forget how. Maybe you just run up Oh, like that. Okay, I was thinking way too much into it. But I forget how to pick up more than one at the same time. Shit. No! No! Oh no, this got totally screwed up. There we go. Oh yeah, and you can do diagonals, that's right. It's like when, when I was done with the video, I like, I'm like, okay, I forgot everything about <laughs> how to play this game. It all went away from my brain. Good time. I'm so glad. I'm having a good time too, Eric. That's how you kick, okay. Uh-oh, Wario's coming, because he knows I'm fucking up. Woods. It's a little wonky, the controls, I feel like, to get a hang of, but once you do, it's like, oh, it's fine. <sighs> and next up is Wayne Gretzky Hockey. Ooh, look at that. Eat at Joe's. Beginner. How do I? So I'm the blinky guy. I think NES hockey is a lot better than this version of hockey. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but the other one I can follow along. This one, I'm like... Wayne Gretzky is the only hockey player name I know. Yeah, that's probably the only hockey player name I know, too. I can't even see the puck. There it is. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, whatever, we saw it. And now it's Wayne's World. Oh, is, wait, no, the Super Nintendo one's the one with the really big heads, right? I don't, what's this one look like? I'm trying, I don't remember. No way. Yeah. 
Let me bring you up to speed. My name is Wayne Campbell. Excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those pesky drums. I like how the instruments have legs. It's pretty funny. Kind of looks like a fry guy, the one snare drum. How come I always join during the ABGN cover games? I don't know, Alraz, but you do, huh? <laughs> Die, saxophone. Party on, Garth. Garth is a merciless killer. This is weird. I seem to be so small. Is this a dream? I look like a video game character. Excellent. So we just have a kick. No way. Okay, I guess I'm not doing that correctly. It takes us all the way back here? That sucks. How much involvement did Mike Myers and Dana Carvey have in these games? Probably zero. I feel like that's usually the case with like movie games. Is there a big sale? <laughs> yeah, do you think they have enough sale signs? His face at the top of the screen? That's pretty funny, I just noticed that. <laughs> All right, now let's try that other part again. For what power? Hello, Samurai Wesley. Ah. Heavy button mashing. I don't think she likes this game so much. It's like. I think I hate the Super Nintendo one more, but this isn't good. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. I'm going to take a really quick break and then we will be back with some more NES games to start with the letter W. All right, be right back. Okay, up next is WCW World Championship Wrestling. Ooh, look at this intro. World Championship Wrestling! Yeah! Yeah, we'll do five minutes. No password. Okay, I know Ric Flair. I don't know any of these other names.
Boston Crab, the Brain Buster, the Atomic Drop. Let's do the Brain Buster and the Boston Crab. So we just pick a bunch. All of them? Or four, okay. Shit, we're not doing too well. I don't know what I'm doing! Oh, you assigned which directional button uses the movie select? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Too bad I don't remember what I did. Like, I, I don't have a chance to do anything. Like, I'm trying to press stuff. Should I just give up? The crowd is ready for blood. Like, I can't do anything. Like, nothing's working. So I must have screwed something up. Hello, Nuff Dragon. Like, I can't do anything. just keeps like destroying me oh I punched a little I don't fucking know anyway so that was horrible because I don't know what the hell I'm doing hello Superman no the game is that hard the computer play play us a ridiculous oh you mean so the computer's like really hard but that was weird I couldn't get like any hits in I don't know what I was doing so next up is werewolf the last warrior so this game I bought at a gaming convention like years ago because I was like oh I never heard of this before this looks cool I could never get anywhere in this game <sighs> I feel like a few years ago people would always bring this game up I don't know. Maybe one day I'll watch a playthrough and see where, like, like what you're supposed to do, because I don't get it. Anyway, let's try it. No more heroes, fuzzball. Your time has come. One player push start. I'm pushing start. I am the spirit of Kinju, and I will be your guide through this quest. Be watchful for the sign of the werewolf. Pick it up and feel your power grow. So don't knock, it says. Okay, so now we're a werewolf. Oh shit, here it comes. He is mad. Yeah, and he has blades for hands.
There's ninjas? The jump is so awkward. No, I don't go this way. Do I go down the hole? Okay, I'm gonna go down the hole. So now we're a dude again, because we got hit too many times. How the fuck do I get up there? Hello, Dan. So you, like, jump and then move forward. I can't get up there. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to hold the ceiling. Oh my god, this sucks. Okay. There we go. So you like press up and over to jump higher. It's so awkward. die was that a bad that was a bad w that doesn't make any sense that was there there's bad w so the blue ones are like poison that makes no sense when you're the wolf you can grab those pipes on the ceiling i couldn't figure out how to grab them Alright, oh, we're not the wolf now. So can we not grab it when we're just a human? Okay, so now we got it. I think this is a good W. Okay, let's try to grab it. I don't know. Oh, he can crawl when you're the wolf. Jump, then press up and A together to hold the pipes. Okay. Oh, that is so awkward. Whoa! I don't know. Maybe we'll do it when we have more room. Oh, shit. The controls are so bad. Am I stuck? Okay, so I'm not gonna get that W because it's a bad W.
Ah, shit. Controls are confusing as hell, but at least they tell you not to knock. Yeah, I don't- I don't know what- I don't know what that means. Why is Aaron still playing this? I don't know. Oh, is that Spider-Man with a gun? The fuck? Why is he saying ho? Ho! Oh, you fucker. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh yeah, and of course it's timed. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, we're gonna run out of time. down. What happens when we run out of time? We just die? I thought he'd explode or something. Alright, so that was Werewolf. It's always an interesting experience. Oh gosh. And now we have a bunch of Wheel of Fortune. I'm not going to play a lot of it. We're just going to play a little bit here and there. We're not going to do a whole round because it takes way too long. I think that werewolf game uh, broke my brain. He had a bomb strapped to him. Alright, so good old Game Tech presents Wheel of Fortune based on the television program produced by Merv. Whoa. Yeah! Oh yeah, we, we played this before on my stream a lot. We'll do easy because we're stupid. At least I'm stupid. Okay, E-R-I-N. Watch, I end up playing this for like 20 minutes. gonna play this for 20 plus minutes. <laughs> Hello, Caliro BM. Uh, I don't know. No L's. Mm. Darn. will be the rest of the stream. I don't think I'll go that long, but never say never. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, I keep doing miss the turn. If you could ask Vanna White one question, what would you ask? I don't know. 
Ooh. Does it get boring touching the letters or does it stay fun? Because I imagine it would stay fun. <laughs> Let's do R. Yay! Hmm, how about S? No S! No! Kind of place is this? I know it doesn't really narrow it down, does it? It could be anywhere, anything. Did I see the Married with Children episode of Vanna? I did not. Oh, it's my turn. I knew it was gonna land on Mr. Turn. I want to like finish this one part, but I'm like, should I just move on? I guess I shouldn't have played with the computer. I should have played alone because then we could go somewhere. Okay, so there's a G. Somebody else finally got something. I have no idea what this could be. idea. Hey, Retro Junkie. Aaron, what do you think of the U's, V's, and W's of NES? I thought the V section was just a lot of volleyball. The U section... Oh, this is Cairo, Egypt. Cairo, Egypt. Well, we didn't win this one. W has a lot more, so there's going to be more fun things under W. Alright, so... So that's that. I, I would stay playing that because I think it's really fun. But we gotta move on to more Wheel of Fortune. This is starring Vanna White. So let's see what the difference is. I don't remember what the difference is. This has a fancier title screen. Starring Vanna White. There she is. That should be my thumbnail. <laughs> Look at that. That is so funny. One. Should we play against the computer? Yes or no? Let's try no. I, I never pick no. Use the controller number to enter your name up to six letters. Oh. I feel like they described that weird. Oh. No, I didn't want to choose her. Oh well. Oh, look at Vanna White in this one. She looks like a little Barbie with like a weird face. You need a thumbnail of you and NES art just like that. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, this is the one with the obnoxious clapping. 
Do I still use the 20 inch BBM for games? I don't. It, it just, it's broken. So I'm using, oh, it's a thing. Okay. Uh, let's go with S. No letter S. So I'm just using a HD monitor. So I had to change my setup a bit. If you still lose, I'll be disappointed. It's quite possible. Let's try R. I like the first version of this game better than this version. Let's go with a T. One T. You know what? Maybe we should have played against the computer because I feel like it's slower when it's just you. But this was a learning experience. Lose turn, darn. We'll just have to go now. Something cast, maybe? Oh yeah, Christina Applegate got a star on Walk of Fame. She did. What game show do I want to be on the most? I don't know. I would be horrible at a lot of them. Um, I guess Price is right. Because, yeah, Plinko, because that would be fun. Or Supermarket Sweep, that would be fun. Because that's on again, right? Didn't they bring that back? I don't know. You would be good at prices, right? Maybe. I think there's an A. There is an A. What? Oh, I have to solve it? I don't know. Wait. No, no, no. Um. Oh. Or, I don't know. Uh. Uh. Armani coat? Oh my god, you're right. No, because it, there's already, it already, already chose A. It's not. It's something coat. Oh, Ormani. I thought like Armani. Can I pick more than one O? I'm so confused. I don't know. I can't, whatever. All right. So that Wheel of Fortune, I didn't like it. Let's try Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. Thank you. 
All right, we're ready. We're ready. Spin. Orange fan. Yes, now she's orange. Two R's. This is the best NES version, in your opinion? Yeah, I don't really know what the difference is, the family one versus the first one. Yeah, suck it, Brenda. Wheel of Fortune mobile app on Google Play. I was at fun and stuff. They had a Wheel of Fortune arcade game. Oh yeah, they have those in some arcades now. Like Dave and Buster type places. Alright, um... Tea? Yay! Um, I don't know. Do I have enough money to buy a vowel? I'm gonna go with E. Only one E? Farter. Carter? Yeah, it's probably Carter. <laughs> Let's choose F. Oh, wait. Never mind. Um... Something Carter. Jimmy Carter. Linda Carter. I bet you're right. Yeah, it's Jimmy and Linda Carter. Yay, we figured it out. I'll just solve it. Wait, I don't know this one though. Shit. Jack? Jack. I don't know what the next one is. Shit, I was I was prematurely doing this. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, and I don't know if we're gonna be fast enough. No, we will, we will. Oh my god. Just made it. Just made it. I panicked and my brain broke and I forgot it's just Anne. <laughs> Alright. Jimmy, Jack, and Linda Carter. Okay. So that was Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. And now it's time for, oh my god, there's so much. Okay, Wheel of Fortune Junior Edition. So many editions, so little time. Wheel 
I guess I shouldn't have picked easy since this is junior, but whatever. Did I buy O-Town CD? I did not. I was not a fan of O-Town. <laughs> Why is Vanna always green? I guess they couldn't get the coloring right. Okay, so this is a person. Because Vanna is a green alien? Maybe. You want to know what every CD I purchased was? I filmed a video on some of my CD collection, um, but I never posted it. But I don't go over everything, I just go over a few of the key ones. Um, I don't think I talk too much about my tween stuff. <laughs> In high school, I sold a lot of my uh, CDs from my tween era. Like, I kept Britney and stuff, because, like, I've always loved Britney, but... Like, 18s and stuff, I, like, sold, and I'm like, why did I do that? I have no idea what this could be. Thank you so much, Nintendo Fan 788 for subscribing a tier two for 59 whole months. Thank you so much. Tween. <laughs> yes, we can talk about um one hit wonders from the early 2000s, late 90s during my tween era. Oh, plumber? I bet it's plumber. You guys are probably right. Okay. I'll solve it. I kept all my Spice Girls albums. Because I kept the ones that were like special to me. Because I was so obsessed with the Spice Girls when I was little. It's like, I don't want to get rid of that. Those are good memories. <laughs> Yay! Good job, chat. Because my brain is not with it today. Alright. So now we are done with the Wheel of Fortune section, and now it's time for where in time is Carmen San Diego. I never got into Carmen San Diego. I feel like I was the only kid who never got into it. Did you get the singles? I did have some Spice Girls singles, yes. But I think I sold some of them, sadly. Let's go to the lobby. I've never played this before. Wait, was I not playing? Dream Street. I haven't thought about Dream Street in years. Hello, Ryu. I'm good. How are you? Okay, I'm trying to play the game. I'm pressing start. Okay. I'm pressing start again. There we go. Jesus Christ. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I need the manual for this. Wait. Let's go to the detective lounge. Please file an incorrect cup drop form with your supervisor. Okay. Personnel. Backstreet Boys are in sync, in sync all the way. And then it takes me back here. Ah! I'm over it. <laughs> okay, where is Waldo? Oh lord. That is loud. Why did they make these kinds of games? Who's gonna play this? Because they're trying to be educational. The Spice Girls or the Vanga Boys? The Vanga Boys have some hits, but I gotta go with the Spice Girls. Alright. So 
So this game is famous for Waldo not looking like Waldo. All right, can we find him? He could be any of these people. And now we sit in silence and look for Waldo. Isn't this a great stream? Oh, there he is. I see him. I can't. Okay. Yay. Now where are we going? Not the cave. Are we going to the forest? Okay, where is he now? Oh, there he is. We're finding him pretty fast, actually. Did I ever like Marilyn Manson? I only know the singles, um, but like Dope Show was a banger. <laughs> oh, and now we just have to guess, right? Or we just go over him and look for him. Caught him. Now what do I do? Oh, we go here? I forgot. It's been so long since I've played this. The fairgrounds! Is this him? Yeah! Find him and kill him. <laughs> Now where are we going? He has to take the longest way around that he could. Maybe he needs to get extra steps in. Yay, we found him. Like the way he walks around, it's so like, what is he doing? I never got into Evanescence, no. Okay, oh, this is that weird wizard thing. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we're, okay, so you have to pick which way the pencil is gonna go. Did we not do it? I don't get it. Oh, I have to get it to Waldo? I thought to get out of here. Oh my God. I totally forgot about this part of the game. Hmm. Oh, we ran out of time. Darn. All right, so that's that one. And now it's time for Mike's favorite game, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? He showed me how to play this and I don't remember any of it. Cats or dogs? I've, I have more experience owning dogs, but I like both. I like all of the animals. Okay, so we look at the drawers, right? Search faster. empty. Is this one empty? Okay, did we search this desk? I don't think we searched this one. Okay, so I think we leave. I don't remember what I do here. I'm gonna slap in this guy.
Let's see, is there anything in here? We don't have a key. My god. Can you help me? Yes, this building is empty. Okay. So, oh yeah, so you keep going to different buildings to look for stuff. Does that mean the whole building's empty or just that room? Come on. Okay, so this building's empty, so we gotta get the hell out of here. I know I punched Roger Rabbit. I didn't mean to. Okay, so there might be something in this building. got a flashlight. This is making me stressed. If you want to see this, I think I put it up. Let me, hold on. Didn't I do a stream where Mike was showing me how to play this? I know I talked about it in a bad games from a uh, rare video, but. thought we did yeah I so six months ago on Aaron plays extras we did a whole stream of this game where Mike showed me how to play it so if you really want to see me well watching him play it then check that out but um yeah we're moving on <laughs> and thank you Nintendo fan for linking that I appreciate it yes we are now on the letter W so now it's time for a wampum Almost to wizardry, I know. And hello, Kurt McGurk. Oh, look at the little mushrooms. We got something. ever actually played this game. Like, I, I know of it, but I don't think I've ever actually played it now that I'm playing it. So we're slowly collecting items, I guess? There's a Shovel Knight hack made of this game? Oh, really? That's cool. Oh, because you can, like, do that. Eyeballs! But you can't shoot up? That sucks. Oh. Ah! 
We made it. We persevered. This little demon guy is kind of cute. Yay, we got some health. We got a bottle of something. This is wampum. Okay, so now we choose where we go next. So were we in the sacred woods? And now I guess it's fire test. Eyeballs that you can't hit. I guess they see you coming. <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, so I, I think the fireballs or whatever it is, I don't think I can hurt those. Oh, shit. Oh my god. liking this game so far. Uh-oh. No! Uh-oh, more falling balls of gold or something. And the jumping mushrooms are back. Uh-oh, we're gonna die. Or no, we got health. What did you know? Is this a boss? <gasps> oh, he's fire! Fireman, like the guys at the end of Splatterhouse. Alright, so that was Wampum. That was a fun little game. Oh, Widget! I did a video on the NES Widget and the Super Nintendo Widget, and like nobody watched it. I always forget I made that video. A while ago now. Wait, did I press? I press widget. This, okay, there we go. You watched it, yay! Mega slink, not mega skink, but mega slink. Mega skink from the planet Titanium is hypnotizing and forcing innocent people to do his dirty work. Go and investigate. Wimple, that dastardly mega skank, is back and he's up to no good. It's fun to say mega skank, isn't it? Instead of mega slink. It'll be your first assignment. Good luck. All right. By the way, my name is Widget, not Wimple. Aw, what if his name was Wimple? Thank you, Nintendo fan, for linking that. Look how happy Widget looks. He's a happy little alien. Oh! The <laughs> worm.
Watch out for those worms! They look happy and innocent, don't they? But they're anything but. It's so repetitive. Okay, pay attention, Aaron. So happily murdering cute desert creatures. I know, isn't this terrible? crocodile but why aren't you dying shit how many hits did you take and now we go down the pipe oh now the ghosties i remember this this is like an like a fine side scroller it's like it's all right Ugh, i hate games that do that beeping thing it's like, I know I'm about to die. Alright, anyway, so that's Widget. And Wild Gunman is next. Or wait, is this the one... This is a light gun game, right? Isn't it? Yeah, this is a light gun game. Alright. I'll have to do a light gun stream at some point, but I don't have... A CRT right now so sorry next up is Willow Willow and all elements tales of dreams and imagination oh that was an interesting sound Ah, Willow. Nelwyn's man of prophecy. Take these magic acorns with you. They can turn anything to stone so it can't move. You have the magic acorns! Yay! Hello, K-Train. If you come back here during your trip, I will recharge your magical powers. Yay! Isn't this a nice, this is such a cute little scene. It's so flowery and green. I've never seen Willow, so I don't know anything about this universe. What's wrong? You're up in the morning. Uh, my sleep schedule is totally screwed up. And it is the opposite from normal. So I don't know what's going on. And hello, Broom Hatter. Willow, to stop Bavmorda's magic, you must dispel the curse she put on Finn Razil. I have never seen Willow. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. Oh yeah, there was a Disney series too, right? And it's gone. It didn't last. Was it bad or something? Alright, I don't know where to go. See, is this where we started from? Did we go in this little area? Welcome home, Willow. Please relax and rest your body here. Be careful, Willow. Let's go this way. I know you love retro, but are there any games you enjoy? I'm guessing you mean uh, modern games? Um, 
I like vampire survivors a lot. Um, I enjoyed Doom Eternal. I thought that was really fun. Um, I like, uh, like that new Kirby game on Switch, uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I really like, um, I like the new Pokemon Snap. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Am I going to go back to Doom Eternal? Probably at some point. Um, you're going to try Cosmics today? <gasps> I'm so jealous. Yeah, there's a new McDonald's experiment restaurant opening up called Cosmics, and it's based on that little alien from, like, the 80s and 90s. And they have, like, all these crazy drinks and, like, different kinds of food items, and I'm really intrigued. I forget what state it's in, but there's only one so far in the U.S. And, and it's like, and it's not a depressing beige building. It's like bright blue. It has like a fancy sign. I was like, wow. What's happening? My name is Von Carr. Please take this long sword. Yay, we got a sword. Oh, they're opening nine in Texas and one in Illinois. I thought it was just one. That's pretty cool. What about Bucky's? I still want to go to a Bucky's. Never been to a Bucky's. Yay, now we have our sword. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the Roswell McDonald's looks really cool. You must be Willow. Weapons and magic items must be in hand in order to use them. So be careful. Oh, who's this? Did you meet Vonkar, the best swordsman in the village? Yes. He should be preparing the finest weapons for you. Alright. So that's a taste of Willow. Win, lose, draw. So this was a, um, I believe this was a, uh, game show. Hello, Super Jeff. He kind of looks like a squished NES version of Breath of the Wild Link. Oh, Willow? Yeah, kind of. But I don't remember what you do in this game. Drawing mode, level, sure. Ready for the next picture clues. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I have to... Okay, guess what they're drawing. Dinosaur. A faucet. No, a birdhouse. Can you do a space? I don't know. I'll just do one word. How do I enter it? Oh. Is that right? Yay! I didn't even go outside the village. See, it's hard. Okay, I'll say it again. It's hard with like RPGs and stuff and games like that because you can't just put them on and try them out for a little bit. You have to like really get into them. And for variety type streams, it's like, it's like, you know, it's not good to just pick up and play. It's like you got to play them for a long time, you know? And I just, I don't know. I wanted to move on. Do you like party games? Do you have a favorite? Um, the only thing that's coming to mind is like Uno. I like playing Uno. <laughs> How do I enter in? Okay, so this is the other team, I guess, because I can't press anything. But it's clearly a slingshot. I do like anticipation. 
how, what am I doing wrong here? I didn't really play any uh, JRPGs as a kid, no. But if you're talking about party video games, I like Mario Party. I like, um... Oh, what's it called? It's an NES game show game that I really like, and I'm blanking on it. I do like Wii Bowling, and I like Wii Tennis. I do like remote control, yes. No, not anticipation. Why am I blanking on it? Classic Concentration, yes. Thank you, Retro K. I do like Classic Concentration a lot. So I guess we're waiting for the other team. Oh, does it think we're playing two player? I bet that's what it thinks. Yeah, it thinks we're two player. Well, we'll do one more and then uh, we'll move on. Slingshot. That is so loud. That sounds so loud to me. It sounds like a phone ringing. Okay, let's see what this one is. It's a wheel. Is it looking for a specific kind of wheel? I'm just gonna put wheel. Or is it a fan? Oh, we were right. Well, I think you did not try Willow fairly to the kind of game it is. I can't play every game for a really long time. I know a lot of people really like Willow. I have nothing against Willow. I just, I just wanted to move on. Maybe I would try it again when I'm playing games for longer chunks of time. Thanks for hanging out, K-Train. The moon. All right, so it thinks it's two players. So we're gonna move on. Next up is Winter Games. And this was also on Atari. Hello, Ernesto. Everyone loves Winter Games. This sounds too loud to me. Sorry guys, I gotta turn it down. The most broken games of them all. Let's compete in all the events. Oh my god. I have to go sideways. I can't go down. You like the Commodore 64 version? It's been so long since I've played this. What did it say about a hot dog? We We're gonna fall. Or was that it? Oh, we fell on our face. Can you go into space on this one? Sadly, I don't think it's like ski or die. Next event. So we failed that event. Oh, this is gonna be a... Why aren't I going? How do I go? Oh my god, left or right on the d-pad? This is gonna do me in. Come on. 
Most of the games don't use A or B. Oh, okay. Oh my god. This sucks. <laughs> Engrossing gameplay. Isn't it amazing? Is it over yet? If this goes on much longer, I might have to stop. I mean, I, I probably am going to stop soon anyway. There! Okay. Wow, we lost. What a surprise. Do you have the NES joystick? You mean the NES Advantage? I do, but, like, the, um... The joystick's, like, loose. It's not... It's not a good, in good condition. Figure skating. Okay, what could go wrong here? <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just rocking back and forth on the D-pad. Legend had is it that Mike is still grinding in Willow to this day. <laughs> he did play that for a very long time. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Oh, we're doing something. And we fell. Collector Chris for subscribing for 17 whole months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How do you control the character moving? I was just rocking the D-pad and every once in a while I'd press A and B and see which one would make her jump. <laughs> That's all. Bob sledding. I don't understand. I don't Oh god, we're going sideways. I have no idea what the hell this is. I don't think you rock the D-pad back and forth for this one. I don't understand. Alright, well we failed horribly. Let's see the opening ceremony. Because it's so beautiful. Probably would be easier to do in real life than this game. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, that's Winter Games. I'm like, let me see. Okay, we still have a lot left. Well... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out if I should split these up or... Okay, I think I'm gonna finish the W. Mate, well... We'll play a few more and then we'll, and then I think next stream is the stream when we'll finish everything up. Um... Yeah. We've already been streaming for three hours and 20 minutes. That's crazy. This went by really fast. 
WrestleMania challenge was a favorite of mine. Oh, really? I've no, yeah, I don't know anything about the wrestling games. And hello, Sega Jason. Good to see you. All right, so let's do... Okay, so she she's excited for this one. This is Wizardry Prov Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. Let's see what this is about. Impossible game? I'm scared. World Wrestling is missing? It might be... Is that an unlicensed game? It might be under unlicensed games. Is this one of these games where you're going to need the booklet? Oh my god, Gilgamesh's Tavern Adventures in Boltax Trading Post, Temple of Kant, or Edge of Town. Let's go to the tavern. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll write that down. Oh, it's under Tecmo? Oh, so we already played it. So it's under Tecmo. Oh, okay, so we already played, played it in T then. So we already played World Wrestling. Okay. So I guess we gotta add some party members. Let's add a fighter and a mage and a cleric and a thief, because I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we're adding all of them. Uh, inspect. Let's inspect the cleric. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's divvy up gold. You can leave the game. <laughs> Maze? Okay. En entering Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. Okay, I don't... Wait, what am I doing? <sighs> Stairs up. Take them? Yes. Okay, so now we're... Wait. Oh, I thought we were actually doing something. Hello, Spiteful Frog. And hello, uh, Captain vs. Games. Today is the 30th anniversary of Doom. Well, happy birthday, Doom. I like Doom. I've been wanting to play Doom again. Maybe that's what I'll play when I'm done um, with this alphabetical challenge. And oh my goodness, thank you so much, Mike Mate Live, for the raid. Welcome to the stream. We are currently playing through NES games alphabetically. We are now on letter W. So if that sounds fun, then please stick around. We are currently playing Wizardry. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So I guess I just exited where I was going. Um... So do I, do I go back to the edge of town, I guess, and I go in the maze. We're entering the grounds of the Mad Overlord. Now we're in the camp. Uh, inspect? I don't know who to inspect. I don't fucking know. Um, leave? Okay. Don't take the stairs. Stairs up, no. On this point, you're supposed to map it out by hand on paper. Oh, goodness. Ouch. Okay. Will a monster appear? And the dungeon resets, so you can't come back and use your map for later. Can I go in there?
No? Okay. Grab your graph paper. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It was actually fun in the day, though, since he had to map it and it was a real time sink. I'm surprised we're not seeing anybody. You would think some something would appear. Well, oh, an encounter! Something's happening! Three small humanoids. Fighters options. Let's fight. A spell? Uh, run, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Ouch! Stop it! Alright, well, that's enough wizardry for me. I don't know what I'm doing. And now there's wizardry, too! The Knight of Diamonds. Isn't this great? Oh, you watched uh, the Widget versus Super Widget video? Well, thank you for watching. All right, let's see what this one's about. I'm a little nervous because Wizardry won. I, I was completely lost. That went right over my head. I don't understand any of it. Now this one, I have a feeling it's gonna be more of the same. So buckle up and watch me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, it's the same shit. It's Gilgamesh's tavern again. Wizardries are all the same for like seven games, literally. Are you serious? Wizardry 2, even more ouch. We're adding everybody. Even the Super Nintendo version is just like this? What the hell? All right, uh, now we go to the edge of town and we go to the maze. Is it gonna look the same? I wonder. Oh, okay, it's different colored bricks. Do we take the stairs? An encounter! A little old man! Fight. Oh, I cast it on somebody? I don't know. Like D&D, yeah. I don't... I don't know. I tried D&D &D and I could not understand any of it. I wish I could go in the doors. I don't know how to do that. I am not in my comfort zone. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go up these stairs. Ugh. Thanks for hanging out, Superman. Let's go to... The Temples of Kant. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. I I don't know. These... I'm sorry. I don't understand. Okay, now here's Wizards and Warriors. You can't go to the Temple of Kant, I know. This is a game that I want to like, and then every time I play it, I'm like, I can't do it. This was your first NES game? Oh, we accidentally went in the... Okay. I like how crazy you like... Ah!
Like, the way you fling your sword around is so frantic. How do I open this? And I'm gonna die. Alright, I don't understand. Maybe we need a key. And we're probably gonna die here anyway. We're gonna make it back up. We're gonna make it back up. So I do need a key, okay. So now we can go back, right? Unless this is a different key. There's a lot going on here in these woods. Alright, well we're going in here. Is this not the right key? Hmm. Alright, so maybe not for this one. I like how his leg does this. Blue key for the blue chest. Okay, so I need to figure out how to get back. Up here. Was it in here? gems okay so the keys match the color of the um, chest okay that makes sense I know we're taking a lot of hits but what can you do Okay, we need the key for that chest, so we need to find a purple-pink key. There's so many flies everywhere. Oh, I didn't see that little blue guy down there. That's okay. This is an NES game I never streamed. I always found this game weird. It is weird. People would love it if you streamed it though. You should totally stream this. You would probably go insane. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out where to jump. This game is decent, it just seems a little quirky. I know a lot of people like really like this game. should move on because we still need to play Wizards and Warriors 2. I would like to learn what the hell to do in this game because I'd be kind of interested in streaming it. I don't know. It's intriguing to me for some reason. Alright, 
so next up is Wizards and Warriors 3. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because weren't some of them called, like, uh... Sarth and S, I think. So the only thing a game over does is reset your score. You can just keep playing until you win. You always start where you die. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Iron Sword, yes, thank you. Yeah, Iron Sword. This is one of my most hated games on the NES, says so Shishi, okay. <laughs> this is a disappointing game. Well, we're gonna play it. Our hero is back. How come when you want go to use your sword, he brings it back? That was so weird. Oh, you have to press down to stab? That's weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll start going in here. Can we go in here? No. Are you good? No, you're bad! Jesus Christ, how many hits did that guy take? The dog looks happy. At least not down to stab and up is jump, yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be a fox. Alright, well I guess we're just gonna keep jumping up for a while. Until we find somewhere we can go. Okay, there's a man walking on the roof. Jab. Can he fly off the side of the screen? Yep. That's pretty funny. Okay, I feel like this one isn't as fun so far. It looks better graphically, but it's not... Like, there's nowhere to go. I mean, it could just be because I have no idea what I'm doing, but... Oh, an open door! Fucking miracle. All right. That's it. There's nothing else in here. Oh, that's- I thought those were coins. Okay, so that's like blood or something. I don't know. Uh-oh! Alright. So that one is uh, interesting. And next up is Wolverine. The vase looks very familiar. That looks like the Mario 2 vase. Yeah, it kind of does. Let's see if this is better than the Uncanny X-Men. Ooh, a burger. And we died already. That's fine. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the chat. Oh, you can't go that way. It's a pipe. Okay. Here, okay, let's start over. Shit. Oh my god, this sucks. Can 
Can I punch, like, anybody? Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> the music does kind of sound like Silver Surfer, huh? Oh, your claws drain your health? So you're not supposed to use a weapon? I'm trying to look. This is really bad. I mean, I knew it was bad, but... Wow. Thank you so much, Bloodshot1802, for subscribing for 37 whole months. Thanks. What console will you do alphabetically next? I don't know. I'm gonna need a break from doing this alphabetical stuff because I just want to play a game the whole way through. <laughs> but I don't know. Alright, next up, we are now in the sky. Look how magical this looks. Oh, oh shoot, I thought that was a platform. Oh, and it's over. All right, well, that was awful. And now it's time for World Champ. That level gives off Chippendale vibes. Kinda. Okay, World Champ. I don't know. Player one. Great, I don't need to enter my name. I don't know. Wait, okay, I'm the red guy. The sound effect is awful. I don't understand why I can't get any hits in. I feel like Ring King is better than this. Okay, so B doesn't do anything, just A? <laughs> this is so bad. I I can't. The the like the speech sounds horrible. B17 bomber sounds a lot better. Alright, next is world class track meet. Wait, is this the one that's the power pad one? I always get a mix up, because there's some that aren't. We'll find out. Yeah, wait. Yeah, this is the power pad one. All right. Next is Wrath of the Black M Manta. Children are vanishing from the streets of New York City. Some people think that the kids are being kidnapped, but the police and FBI have no leads. 
Parents are afraid to let their kids out go outside. Will this case ever be solved? I don't know. Ring, ring. Who could be calling in the middle of the night? Hello? Hello, Manta. You've heard about the disappearing children in New York? Of course. Well, it looks like the kidnapping theory was correct. How's that? They've taken several children, including my youngest student, Taro. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Games and Movies, for gifting five subs to Rigo Dev, Broom Hatter, Zip Xavier, Dancing Danny, and E Tank. So if you got a sub from Games and Movies, please tell him thank you. Thank you so much and good morning. I hope you're doing okay. Do I like red velvet cookies? I don't know if I've ever had a red velvet cookie. Well, no, I had the red velvet Oreos. I remember liking those. I like red velvet cake, though. I've been doing this too long. I can't sit through. Oh, my God. <laughs> At first, I was like, what am I looking at? The man in red knows something. The man in red. Ooh, ooh, loosen up, man. Where, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Well, he didn't know anything. The way they have the enemies ducking behind, like, boxes and stuff, this is kind of like a shitty shinobi. You're involved in the kidnapping, aren't you? Is this channel called Aaron Plays because you're playing video games? You got it. That is correct. Oh, no, oh, we died. Darn. Oh, we're back. goodness. Where the hell do I go? Oh, I'm supposed to drop down. But there's nothing down here. This is really bad. I like how, like, now, like, there's a lot of crap in W. Like, I feel like every game has been horrible. Like, oh my goodness. Okay. Next is Wrecking Crew. This game I want to like, but I've just never really gotten into it, and it's been so long, I don't remember how to play it. Isn't there, like, a lot of doors involved or something? You're like tearing down doors, right? Let's see. And then the little purple eggplant men. I don't totally get it. Okay. Do I go the other way? Let's see, maybe I go down here.
Oh, did that hurt me or was that okay? All right, so let's try this way again because I don't understand what I'm doing. I'll wait for these guys to pass, okay. Go in there. But they, you don't go in. Okay. In the Japanese version, you can make your own levels. Okay, maybe we go. Do I go this way? So you can't go in the doors. Like, where are you supposed to go? Do you have to open both at the same time? Do I go in here? Like, what do I do? Smash the white ladders. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta go all the way back up here. I didn't, oh, okay, so maybe it wasn't letting me continue because I didn't smash everything. I didn't know you could smash those ladders. Oh, okay. What's the goal? Break all the doors? I think so. already screwed up. Oh, the fire got us. I don't understand the fire. See, I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, so that's Wrecking Crew. I Apparently I'm too dumb to figure that one out. I, if I watched like a playthrough of it, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's right. Anyway, now it's Worm, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Mike is the reason you made a Twitch account? That's cool. The fire appears if you take too long, much like a Mario Brothers. Oh, okay. The goal is to break everything that you can break. Okay. So break everything and do it fast. Um, I don't know if there's unlicensed W. I haven't looked yet. Alright, here's Worm from Asmic. Non Malta. <laughs> okay, so you're like crawling on the ground. And I think the only button is shooting. I don't really understand. There must be something else to do. Conquest of the Crystal Palace is a tough game. Yeah, that one's hard. Oh, you also have a little drill bit thing. Oh, okay, I thought you could like, I thought you could drill through enemies, but I guess not. It's kind of like Moon Control, but you can't jump. So that's why at first I was going to compare it to Moon Control, but it's like you can't really jump, you just shoot.
Oh, I can fly a little sometimes? I can go underground? This is weird. <laughs> Have you found any games you'll come back to and dedicate a stream to yet? So far this stream, so we've gone through the letter U and V, and now we're on W, and literally the only one is the uninvited. Um, that one I want to come back to. I already knew I liked Vice Project Doom, but other than that, it's like, it's been pretty uh, grim. <laughs> and hello, Classic Mike Cade. Thank you for watching the stream. Wally Bear is the only unlicensed w game okay all right well that's worm and now it's time for wrestling which i know nothing about so this is gonna be horrible so let's do wwf wrestlemania there's hulk hogan i know that much this one isn't the greatest this one's terrible cool Sure. How do I select? All right. A Wheel of Fortune's always fun. So basically, you beat them up a lot, and then you can press A and B together the body slam. Okay. You're seeing Godzilla tomorrow. That's cool. I heard it's good. I'm not getting any hits in. Thank you so much, Drawn Unicycle, for subscribing for four months. Thank you. Good to see you in here. Like, I can't get any hits in. Uh, okay, enough of that. Let's see the next one. WrestleMania Steel Cage. Is this one any better? I don't know. No. <laughs> oh, God. Easy. Sure. From Sarasota, Florida, weighing 245 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. And his opponent from West Memphis, Arkansas, weighing 318 pounds, Sid Justice. Is Macho Man your favorite wrestler? No, but he's one of the only ones that I know the name of. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. I'm just mashing buttons. I don't know what's going on. At least I'm doing something, kind of. Oh. This just keeps going and going. Is it over? All right. 
And lastly, we have WWF WrestleMania Challenge. This is fun watching Aaron try different shitty games. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. WrestleMania Challenge has a more intuitive gameplay. One button for strikes, one for grapples. Does different stuff if you're in front of behind. Tapping strike button punches, holding kicks. Okay, I'll try to figure that out. Instead of punching, my arms just go out to the side like that. Oh my god. That's a grapple. Okay, see I don't I don't know this shit. And let's finish up today's stream with Wally Bear and the No Gang. Everyone's favorite bear. <laughs> the bear couple. Uncle Gary Grizzly has been planning a party for you and the No Gang. Invite all your friends and try to reach his house before dark. I like their wallpaper. Take care, Wally. And remember to say no, stay smart, don't start. I like how this was the era when they assumed that kids would be faced with drugs, like, at every chance. <laughs> like, everything was about drugs. It's been so long since I've played this, oh my god. So I think you can only jump. I don't remember if you can jump on things or not, or if you just avoid things. Okay, so you just avoid things. You can't jump on things, I guess. Oh yeah, and it's one hit death. Because Wally Bear doesn't fuck around. Are the animals high? Maybe they're the ones offering drugs. close. They should have, the parents should have said watch out for all these killer animals. Oh no. Can we make it any further? Let's find out. Oh my god. I thought you could land on that tree thing. Why don't we get a Smokey the Bear game? <laughs> Smokey the Bear would kick this douchebag's ass. He would. Thanks for hanging out, Telly. Can we make it a little further in this level? I don't know. That's the question that I have for this game. I don't know what I'm saying. I've been doing this too long. How long have I been doing this? Four hours? It's been four hours of non-stop shitty games. It takes a toll on a person. Go for the stupid dog and these stupid birds. Oh my god! Oh 
Oh my god. Shit, I was trying to jump over it that way. Ugh, Aaron doing any as A to Z, God's work. I say I can't thank you enough, Aaron. Well, thank you for watching. W has been worse than U and V. V was a lot of volleyball games. Which those can be fun, even if they kind of suck. Um. Shit. Um. My, I'm sorry, my brain. I like Vice Project Doom, but I already knew I liked that game. Um, I mean, Wizards and Warriors was kind of intriguing in a weird way. But really, The Uninvited was the only game tonight, this morning, whatever time it is, that I liked at all. So I want to go back, I want to do a full game of a full stream of uninvited that would be fun anyway my brain is fried i can't do this anymore <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this fine sunday morning and then the next stream we will be finishing up um with x y and z of nes games alphabetically so thank you guys so much for hanging out and i'll see you again very soon bye